So, hi everyone. Uh, I just wanted to share some experiences what we have done at Zoho with data. So that basically three disclaimers I'll start with. The first one is I'm not a big data expert. Second one is we don't uh, call ourselves a big data company, unlike some of the others that do. And uh, third one is so there's obviously, the uh, way talked about this in his presentation, there's a lot of hype around big data. So you really have to separate the wheat from the shaft and try to determine what really is a big data problem and what's not. So with that, I'll just uh, talk through five instances, five cases that we deal in terms of data management uh, at Zoho. So the first one that we do is we basically you know, to give you a background of what we do, so Zoho basically we do a, we build a few products. One of them is our uh, cloud-based applications. So when you say application, it means uh, something like a CRM application, an email application, uh, instant messenger. So all of these have data in it. It could be a my, uh, an office, online office equivalent. So user can generate a lot of content. They can build content like a document, a presentation. A spreadsheet kind of thing. So that's one of the parts that we deal with in terms of data. Other part is uh, manage engine which deals with enterprise IT. So when you talk about enterprise IT, we have products that monitor various parts of the IT infrastructure. <coughs> and a lot of data comes out of that including log information. So we're talking about application logs, we're talking about uh, logs from your network devices, we're talking about packets coming from that. That's also a lot of data that we'll have to deal with. So, moving back to the the five use cases I'm going to be talking about is the first one is we have a, a search that's part of the Zoho Online Cloud application, which is going to go and search across various services. The services could be a CRM service, it could be an email. So I'll have some screenshot that basically gives some example of what we're talking about. The second one is operations log. So the Zoho services, basically each one of those application service generate a lot of logs. So if something goes wrong, how do you go for troubleshooting it? That's the second thing. The third one is the, the Zoho applications itself store a lot of user generated content. So how do we manage that data? What's the infrastructure we use for that? Fourth one is we have something called so whole reports which basically deals with analytics and business intelligence. Once you feed it data, it's able to present that in a visually appealing form. Fifth one is in terms of you know what I talked about the IT infrastructure management in terms of log analysis, data analysis, that. So let me jump into each one of these quickly. So the goal for uh, the first use case was the Zoho search was to give us unified search experience across various Zoho services. And that was the goal. So, which means that you have to not only search relevant information across these services, but also be able to correlate information. And then handle, so the thing here is you have to handle structured data as well as semi-structured data. So, because you know, there will be some, some data in RDBMSs, there will be some data in Hadoop file system, and because they, you have a lot of user generated content like documents, spreadsheets, so where do you put those, right? And then obviously exposing the REST APIs for this. So if you look at it, if you do a search across various, you know, these are the various assets. So it could be an email, it could be documents, it could be contacts, it could be, you know, discussion board, all that. So it will basically go search across these various services and basically get the information out. And in terms of how do we do this, you know, for the, the search part, the indexes we use Lucene and Solar for storing the index. And in terms of the data itself, we use Hadoop. And we also have some contact inter information in an RDBMS. And in some of the Zoho search, Zoho uh, services, where we see a lot of data coming in, we also use a columnar database, like Vectorx. So this is a one use case. So this is this will give you search uh, information results made from across various services. The second one is uh, operation log analysis, right? So for example, each application, each those services, 
will spew out a lot of dots. And for the operations team and the, you know, this is something that takes into DevOps also. How do you go and troubleshoot it? How do you see that there's something, there exception being thrown there? How do you correlate across those various log information? And uh, basically provide some kind of analytics to help you correlate that information. So here again, you know, in terms of uh, storage, since log is kind of semi-structured, we use the uh, Hadoop file system there. And uh, in fact, uh, we use the same kind of a Lucene Solar for generating the index because there's all the logs have to be completely text searchable. So that made perfect sense for us. So that's the second use case that we use. The third one is uh, generating, you know, all these user generated content. So someone could actually write a fresh document themselves or import from an Excel or basically an email, uh, email documents or chats from transcripts that you type in instant messenger. All that is uh, stored in our own uh, clusters, right? And then uh, for that as well, we use an HDFS system for storing all that information. But it's not always a single type of storage for all data. We use a combination of various technologies or various storage types or RDBMS versus or in a database for different types of uh, data and uh, obviously it has to be highly available, it has to be redundant that's why we use uh, basically distributed solar or distributed uh, HDFS system for that. So this is uh, um, one of the Zoho services it's called Zoho Reports. So what it does is, if you feed it information, and the information could be either a CSV file or an Excel file, or you could actually put it from a third party application or a third party data source. You can actually visually present that in a graphical form. So it's similar to a business analytics. And here again, we, in fact, one of the things is here we use, a, actually we use not only you know, commercial RDBMS, we also use MySQL. So, you know, wherever it makes sense to do that, we use uh, MySQL. So, for a large, for, a, for cases where customers handle a large amount of data to be presented, we use Vectorize as a column of database there. And these, uh, I mean, it's not as though you see this information being presented only in the Zoho Services portal, it will also be embedded in your own wikis or in your own application. And then, uh, like I said, the data could be pulled out either from standard interfaces, standard formats, or you could, we also have plugins for other third party apps. But to pull out that data and then store it, so we use a you know, columnar database for that, wherever the data volume is huge. So these are some of the visualization for the reports, so you could do different types of charting with this. So this is uh, the fifth and the last use cases with regard to log analysis. So the managing uh, division of Zoho basically deals with IT monitoring, or enterprise IT monitoring. And one part of that deals with analyzing log information that could come from a variety of sources. It could be network devices, application logs, syslogs, various kind of logs. And then you have to basically store all these logs in a scalable way and access it, pull out that information very quickly, correlate it across various records and show those correlations in a very meaningful way. At the end of it, for the user, this could the log could actually be a, a security alert, a security event, a security incident, or uh, some kind of abnormality in the system, or some kind of uh, you know uh, access you know access is not permissible. Someone is trying to access those. So this can be used to generate some compliance report also. But again, the storage for this we use a combination of various technologies: uh, HDFS, Solar Lucene, what. So uh, that's about the five use cases. Um, so it, this is how it would look. So if you want to search for any log information that you want to collect, once you set, set up the log collector, basically you could type in the 
strings that you are looking for and just pull out this information and represent that graphically. Um, you know, if you on a, you know, it's very similar to what Splunk does, but Splunk does it on a very large scale. And then you could also have, uh, we also have APIs kind of thing, so you could actually generate some kind of a regex expression on top of the data that you pull out, log information. So uh, that's pretty much the five use cases that I wanted to share with uh, all of you. So if there are any questions, I can answer. But you have to keep the three disclaimer that I said earlier. <laughs>